Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the deep playthrough of Tomb Raider Remastered. Uh, third game already done, we're doing the expansion now, first level already completed. I think two episodes ago, uh, but then we were still mopping up some items and I was still missing one. So in between episodes, uh, I was just randomly running around uh, and we are now um, yeah, where there was like also this medipack on the other side of this pillar which was super hard to get. In the end, we did manage, uh, I think two episodes ago. Uh, but anywho, this is a secret area where you get inside the Loch Ness monster, which actually is a mechanical monster. And over there is where I totally, yeah, probably I had the classical graphics uh, activated. I don't remember, but that is pretty hard to see, that box of flares. So I overlooked it. That's the item that I overlooked. So now we should be complete and we are going to make a beeline for the level exit finally. Because I checked it out. We have three out of three secrets. Crystals, I think there aren't any apparently in this expansion. 47 out of 47 pickups and 24 out of 24 kills, so we're complete. And in between episodes, I also quickly checked how much footage I had. We are really already, um, yeah, basically six hours in or something. Way too long for one expansion level. Yeah, I really had a very tough time finding one that medipack the way to that medipack <coughs> that we just saw or uh, behind that pillar i already picked it up the medipack so we didn't see it but uh, and the other item was the uzis all at the start somehow it was a really tricky jump to figure out where to jump from so happy that it's now finally complete basically took my whole sunday just one expansion level god damn it it's so annoying pressing forwards i'm not pressing left but my analog stick is way too sensitive um anywho basically took the whole sunday and I don't have that much time anymore, so maybe I will even have to call it a day now, but now nah, we will do a little bit of the next uh, level as well. This is the level ending, here we go. Alright, already uh, went through it, secrets, no crystals, all secrets, no crystals, all pickups, all kills. Now we are going for the Willard's lair. Only I knew who Willard was. Looked like the Braveheart guy in the cutscene, maybe. That's the problem. Always, always at the end, after a stressful, annoying week of work. On Saturday evening, I get uh, I'm, I'm acclimatized. Like, okay, I don't think about work and not in a work mindset so much anymore. Then I play a couple of hours. Then Sunday, and this Sunday, I really somehow was not in the mood. Probably because also subconsciously uh, annoying work. I just hate my job. But. Um, Anyways, I, I did play this level today on Sunday and always at the end when there is no time left, like Sunday evening, I get into the flow and then I'm like, yeah, I could play like 24 seven now, let's go. And then I don't have time anymore. So annoying.
really don't like these levels at all, these sections. Because there will be, and also you had that in um, Tomb Raider 3, where you had like this lowering ceiling and it was all super hectic, but there were secret areas there. So uh, players are just focused on surviving and then totally overlooking um, pickups. And that's the same with this area, with these slides. These are I have, uh, probably not backtrackable areas. So. You have to figure it all out now and not like uh, all at the end that you see like, oh, I'm missing items in the uh, level uh, recap screen. And then it appears it's all at the beginning. Then you have to basically load like this safe and then you have to redo everything, including everything that you did find uh, throughout uh, your run through. So. Just super annoying. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so fucking annoying. It's so annoying. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right. So I will not pick up that item. I will first see if there's anything. Oh, 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 I really need to stop playing. I'm pressing back and see if it registers as left. It's so annoying. All right. Now, what the hell? What the holy hell? Alright, I am going to uh, assume that there's nothing there because I try to um, go backwards from the slide so that I could hang from the ledge and take it to have a, like a brief moment of uh, moment of uh, pulse to take it all in, see if there are any openings. But it's such a hectic section. Screw this shit. But if there is an item there like a secret area, then I don't even want to find it. Maybe we can actually jump back. I don't need to pick up that item immediately. Oh my fucking god. And we cannot jump back by the way. I think it's too high. Fuck this fucking game. Man. This game so hard. Fuck it so hard. Fuck it so fucking hard. Oh, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. Fuck it so hard. This is such a training in anger management. Fucking hell. Alright, I am going to quickly see in the walkthrough because normally I really don't want to look up stuff. I didn't do it in the previous episode, which took me like an hour, hours to find the last items. But I hate these kinds of sections so much. I'm just gonna make sure there are no items there. So there were flares which we picked up. 
and then we add the crowbar note. Even if you found it earlier, the crowbar doesn't carry off from the previous level. All right, so there were only those two items. So we should have two items. Yes. All right. Um, anywho, here we are. But actually, I do have to, unfortunately, now, let's at least take out this motherfucking dog. Oh my gosh. It's all so annoying. Oh my god. Oh fuck this fucking game so hard. Putting those. Um, sliding sections here is just absolutely trolling the player. Oh my god, I didn't want to jump down. want to do it like that it's just the controls fucking me over also wanted to look around see what's here nothing here looks pretty cool in the um, original actually as well pretty ominous oh fuck my life <laughs> right I do have to say that Jump scares in this uh, expansion are way better than in the main game. I can't tell you that. There was one in the previous level where a dog suddenly came to life. And it really, really took a year of my life. Uh, not really, but still, it was. I was not expecting it at all. <laughs> that sound freaking funny. Alright, we have boulders. Man, this is full of traps here. God damn it. Uh, I don't even know whether we can stand over there down below. So that one over there only starts rolling once you get in front of it, I guess. Only thing I don't hope or and I, uh, yeah, what would be a bummer if these rocks are actually on items so that you, oh fuck my life. So that you basically Fuck this fucking game, man. Fuck this. 
this case. I was looking at, okay, is there an incline? Will that boulder roll? There was zero incline. Oh, fuck me, man. All right, this is just ridiculous. Oh my God. Yeah, if you really want to get players to stop playing, do it like this. fuck so it is it's not like they all roll once they just <laughs> it's just crazy you, you, this is just totally luck of the draw what do what do you expect me to do seriously what the hell do you expect the player to do here wow 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 wow, wow. this is absolutely infuriating Because it is, it has nothing to do with logic. Here, where is the next boulder coming from? That is just this boulder or something that randomly starts to roll. All right, now it's that one. It is absolutely retarded. If you ask me. starts moving so I'm sure if I'm picking up this one uh, at least now they stay put here again this is so easy to die because you have no idea which one is randomly accelerating Alright, um, very, very annoying section. I mean, I don't mind it that much. It does have that whole Indiana Jones trap feel to it, vibe to it. I do like it for that. But there is no rhyme or reason to it, at least. Not to my limited brain capacity. Here, that one to the right. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if it just starts backing up again. when if there's uh or it wouldn't surprise me if there's a boomer bumping in from the left or right or from the ceiling or from anywhere actually <coughs> just through a wall would not surprise me one bit all right do not forget there is a drop down there. Here, look actually better in the original graphics, the um, fire illumination. Much more moody with the flickering. Um, anywho, don't forget that med pack over there. Ah, 
Here we go again. Even more uh, trickery. All right, so that net pack is over there. It would be nice if we could still get that net pack. I really have to call it a day already. Fuck it, it's just not fun. Here again, these fucking harpoons. I, it's really lucky that I saw them. They're so easily overlooked. You, you barely see them. You barely fucking see them. Normally they're white, so now they're gray. It's just for trolling. You don't even need harpoons in this level. Or at least not until now. see that I will not be able to get the item there. Would not surprise me one bit because the the um, hit radius, hitbox of these things is incredibly big. You see? That's what I mean. Fuck this fucking game. Seriously. Fuck this fucking game. So hard. So fucking hard.
without getting fucked over. I don't even think that's possible. Also that fucking cancelled out jump that she sometimes does. What the fuck is that? I think I did take damage. Right? Yeah. Fuck this shit. Fuck it's so hard. Fuck it's so hard this game. Nice, it is possible. Fuck this fucking game. Alright, at least... Ah, you see, I almost forgot. There we fucking go. I found this not really a super well hidden secret to be honest. But maybe that's just me. Abandon hope all ye who enter here. Alright, so we have two paths. And we must not forget. So that was I guess it's secret area.
Safe after getting that item. Are you stupid? So this seems to open something where the wool already uh, came in. So and now it's blocking it. So let's get to this one. Here, it's the one to the right. Get that medipack immediately. But now the question is, can we get to the other item still? Because this one is now blocked. Ah, wait. Yeah, but the gate on the other side is blocked as well now. So I highly doubt... Unless there's a lever on this side as well, but I highly doubt that we can... get back to that spiky uh, room area. so hard fucking shotgun to the face and they survived that what the fuck is up with that Art. Are you fucking kidding me? Here, you see the gate is closed. What the fuck do you want me to do? Oh my god, this fucking game, man. This fucking game. Is there even enough time? No, I don't even I don't think that you can even get to that other lever. You cannot get both levers during that wall sequence.
I mean, what what do the developers think here? You, as a, yes, it, I now know that it's coming, but you should be able to get to a level through a level. Here, you you cannot avoid this. This is at least not the first time. That is just. It's also retarded. Here. Wow, wow, wow. And you, even if you try to avoid it, it's not possible. Unless you know exactly where to go. It's just incredibly, incredibly annoying. And I cannot imagine, if we now cannot get back to that area with the goodies, that would be such bad game design. Unless that means... Oh, 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 oh. Unless it means we can get back to that hallway over there to pick up that medipack from here, but I don't think we can get there actually at all. nice if this one opens up still which I'm sure it will not fuck this shit man right you also really have to avoid the debris because Lara just get warped, warped back and this is his stance on it alright so everything uh, m no I wanted to say maybe I can get back otherwise everything I'm doing now will be f is futile Because we will have to do it again. Because we need to pick up the items. find it a retarded level. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're getting higher up, higher up. A 
but this is not where we need to be. We need to go down. Get those fucking items over there. God damn it, what is this game thinking? Also with those roof collapses. Or not this game, but what were the level designers thinking? Alright, we do have a lever there. If, if that opens up that door, then I'm fine. But if it somehow is, the other items are now somehow locked off, I would find that epically retarded. Epically retarded. Not regular retarded. Epically retarded. Please open up that gate. I'm sure it will not. Yeah, fuck this shit, man. Ah, and this one is also timed, I guess. I'm sure this will be timed. Point of no return. I don't know, but I do know we're getting further and further away from the items that we still need to pick up. Oh my god. lucky there Here, you see, I don't even think it is possible. To get down here without taking damage. Why can't she move further to the right? Because if we now jump down, she will take damage. It's just so annoying, these little things. How do you... Here, same here. Uh, Alright, this was really lucky. Because this just as well have meant damage. Alright, there are items over there. <coughs> <coughs> Plus another annoying ceiling. 
And the thing is, it's all fun and games, but we are missing items, so... Everything we are doing now, we probably have to redo soon. It's just not fun. It's not fun at all. It's just so incredibly retarded. just not fun. Why do you put... an item there? Just so... Just so players <laughs> get fucked over. It is, it is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Fuck this shit. Normally I really want to get through these sections without taking damage but for this one I really say fuck this shit fuck it all so fucking hard and we still have the question do we get back to that fucking first room with the, the walls? I don't think so where are the enemies walking around? I hear them walking around. And another ceiling. Oh my god, it's just crazy. Here, the exact same setup. It's it's really it's not funny anymore. Yes, I'm missing an item there, but I really don't care anymore. This is just too retarded. Uh, we're now also stuck here. Oh. two switches here one to open up the door to that one and the other one yeah, I don't 
think it's even possible to do both. Here, you see? Because that one is coming, then you're up here. So you can open this one. only do that one you cannot anymore get to that one way back actually if that is that last one so then we do maybe this one Pick up the items down below, and uh, we should be good. All right, maybe let's try to clear that still this episode. So we do. I do have the feeling that I'm I've missed items or stuff, but whatever. And I'm not even going to bother if I get a bit of uh, damage. Fuck this shit. I hate this so much, I really couldn't care less. I hate this so fucking much, sequences like this. It's so cheap. cheap <sighs> and then we coming up we have two oh man 
it rubs me so the wrong way. We have two shotgun shells that we have to pick up. Ah, good luck with that one. And also, those guys, where are they? We also need all the kills. Alright, I think if this one goes, the other one will immediately go again. I'm not 100 uh, will go as well. I'm not 100% sure. But the thing that drops me the wrong way is just... Here, this is what I mean. Oh my gosh. Here, so it is basically not possible, I would say. pick up two shotgun shells and then still get below it I don't really see that happening that you hardly can do it without taking damage. That's basically not possible. I mean, it is still somewhat entertaining, it, it is certainly challenging, it's also just me not having all the time, which is just annoying. there with that hitbox wow 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 So this is not possible now anymore. Well, I did it twice before. Nice. Extremely annoying section. It's 
So where are those guys walking around? Ah, I do hear them. And somehow I really have the feeling that I, I went through here really on autopilot and also quite annoyed. I really have the feeling that I missed items. Also, there's a ledge there. At least I could do a quick check if there was anything there. Pretty sure there wasn't. But the big question is, where are those guys now? Right, we can maybe pull that lever again over there and see if that resets all those spiked ceilings. I doubt it does. But you never know. We went down there and then on the other side. I guess now maybe we need to go here. <sighs> ah, 
At least we know where the guys are. It would be nice if we could at least take them out. And then end the episode. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Annoying. It's so fucking annoying. Oh. oh, fuck my life. Fuck my life. Do we now have all the items? I have no clue. Yeah, I think we did. Fuck my life, man. I mean, it's not that much backtracking, but it's just annoying, annoying, annoyance after annoyance. And to again, do that fucking here, those accidental forward steps. I'm pressing actually left or right to rotate Lara. And it is so often interpreted as just forward, and it can really screw you over. It's just all so annoying. I mean, I still find it one for sure my gaming experience of 2024. This whole remaster. But god damn it. There is also a heavy dose of frustration involved. I can tell you. Alright, now the question is how do we get to those guys? But again, the level design itself. I really have to say it is pretty cool. You have like this this challenge run, what it basically was, with all the ceilings. that you can immediately go here only 40 bullets fucking hell nope I'm going with the trusty mp5 by the way I think we can make that one Again, like always, now I'm getting into the flow. Late on a Sunday, it's so annoying. It's such beautiful music in this game. Level design. How frustrating it can be, and the music it is really very high quality, I find. PS1, mind you, it's just crazy. Sometimes you need to let them live because they have to do an action like opening up a gate or something. Now let's see what happens if we can 
encounter them closer by? Are they doing something or are they only shooting? Mission accomplished. We got that weird medipack. We got the guys. So next episode will be exploring this area, <laughs> which looks like a pretty damn cool area. <coughs> Actually looking forward to that. And it is indeed, I've read a lot of positive um, opinions about this expansion pack and now I understand it is actually really pretty cool this is PS1 era can you imagine this is like Dark Souls level levels avant la lettre this is pretty damn amazing I must say Probably some secret book in the bookcase. Cases. Oh, 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 I fucking hate myself so fucking much. These stupid fucking inputs. Alright, at least it didn't take too much health away. Uh, but what was I saying? Yeah, the level design etc i find it pretty remarkable no way oh my god am i retarded or what is wrong with me fucking hell Alright, because I want to put Lara at the start of this area so that we in the next episode that's I think where we came from we have we are at the start and we will be having a fresh cool area to explore um, guys that will be it for this episode hope you enjoyed sorry for my ranting or anything not uh, yeah it's a bit weird day a bit moody day but uh, it is what it is pretty cool ceiling by the way as well oh that's only in the remaster <coughs> um anywho but still these graphics like these these statues for ps1 it all looks it just looks believable it's just amazing hope you enjoyed I hope to see you in the next episode and for the meantime don't forget always do keep on gaming Slater.